so i think it is a very like a myth type that we have to study 6 to 8 hours or something like to crack the cat or something but i think it is really wrong what matters is the consistency if daily you are also giving one hour for a cat and after that some 20 to 30 minutes for analysis that is more than enough if you are doing that on a regular basis and uh, regarding taking out the time i think one can always cut down on the recreation like going out partying with friends and everything and taking out one to two hours daily is not that hard a job also if you think properly and for working professionals also i think it's it's kind of same like they can also in the weekdays go for the daily targets and the weekends target for the full length and the sectional test so that was con- my strategy Hello everyone today we have with us Om Adarsh and he has scored a 99.98 percentile in CAT 2022 exam that's a very good achievement in the CAT especially because this was his first attempt and he is also a fresher non engineer today he is with us to share his CAT preparation journey and he's given he's going to give us some very valuable tips on how to crack the CAT exam so hello om thanks a lot for joining us today and first of all a big congratulations on scoring So, uh, such a good score uh, on your first attempt in the CAT exam. Hey, thank you. It's a pleasure to join. Okay, so now just to give a background, can you please tell us a little bit about yourself, your education background? So right now I'm in the fifth year of my graduation, and I am in the BSMS integrated course at Iowa Pune. And uh, yeah, this is a five-year course. So basically, I have five more months to go, and after that, I'll be getting a degree. And after that, yeah. I will be joining India, whichever I am a college convert, and my department is also in climate science, and we work basically on paleobiology on the diversity of mollusks. So yeah, that's sort of background about me. All right, amazing. So, can you please tell us how you prepared for the CAT exam? So I think I decided uh, really to start preparing for CAT around say like June this year, and uh, this was because mostly like I. I really like my field which I am working in currently, but then I had some responsible roles like where I need to lead my team and all. So there, that is a point where it's hard. Like I can really go into management, and this can be a really good uh, platform for me, for me to broaden my horizon. So when I decided to start uh, preparing for CAT, some of my friends recommended me that CAT is really good, and I should uh, for like go for it. So I knew my strengths and weaknesses like on a rough level, and uh, so I thought that I don't need the complete package. But then I thought like I really need uh, the test series and to practice regularly, and that's the point when I purchased the practice test series. And uh, I can just tell it uh, with great help. So yeah, that's the like how I got introduced to it. Yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. That is amazing. So uh, we are really glad that you are able to achieve your uh, dream score. So, in your opinion, what made all the difference? I mean, you this, considering that this is your first attempt, and you also had to manage your academics alongside your CAT prep. So, how did you manage and balance both of these? So, I think it is a very like a myth type that you have to study six to eight hours or something like to crack the CAT or something. But I think it is really wrong. What matters is the consistency. If daily you are also giving one hour for a CAT. And after that, some twenty to thirty minutes for analysis. That is more than enough if you are doing that on a regular basis. Let me just take an example for the track your daily targets. If you want to solving those thirty minutes of questions every day and analyzing it properly, that is more than enough for the weekdays. And again, in the weekend, you can always go for a full length test or a sectional test. You have all the options. Like you get around fifteen sectional tests for each of the sections and fifteen full length tests also. So yeah. You can always skip those for the weekends and for the daily things. Daily targets are really amazing. But yeah, what matters is consistency. If you think like today I'll do like say for two three hours and after five days I'll again go for it, that is not going to work. What I observed in my case, yeah. And uh, regarding taking out the time, I think one can always cut down on the recreation, like going out, partying with friends and everything. And taking out one to two hours daily is not that hard a job. Also, if you think properly, and yeah, that is. in my case and for working professionals also i think it's it's kind of same like they can also in the weekdays go for the daily targets and the weekends target for the full length and the sectional test so that was con- my strategy in a, on a rough level like i somehow like made sure i practice on a consistent level every day yeah right so maintaining consistency made all the difference that's amazing yeah 
all right now uh, let us discuss about your sectional sectional strategies the vr cdi and dl are in quant particularly the quant section okay so when i actually started preparing for the cat i gave one full length test like you won't believe my first time the marks are 66 or something around that but that's the point like most of the people when they give first time the test or something they get demotivated i think that is not what is going to work first test really gives you an idea which section you are lagging at which section you are slightly strong at and which section is mediocre and after that you can start focusing on individual topics or individual sections and it is really going to do wonders in the long run but getting demotivated like i score 60 or 50 how can i go to 100 that should not be the thought process at least at the starting and uh, talking about my case i was really weak at vrc okay like the first time when i gave the exam my sectional score was 15 out of 72 which is really bad but yeah i knew like i always knew that i would be lagging behind in vrc because i have this problem i'm not used to reading newspapers or long articles or like focusing and reading some things and coming to quant so that is the section i was really strong at and i always believe that i can score more than 47 to 48 at any cost but yeah in the first time i scored around say 35 to 14 uh, and and okay okay the one more thing is vrc and quant you can always be strong at one of these two sections because say dlr i think is kind of, like kind of unpredictable maybe on one day you can solve three sets and another day you can solve one set but yeah dlr requires regular practice but you can never assure that this is my strong section but yeah again practice has to be consistent for the dlr also but vrc and quant always pick up one of those and whichever section you are strong at always ensure that you score around 40% marks of your total score in that particular section right maximize your uh, scores in that yeah, strong exactly. right and coming to the section you can always work and like increase the score like my first time score was 15 in vrc but in the cat 2022 i scored 44 so i think that's a good improvement yeah and, and anyone can do it it is not some rocket science that you can like score 30 marks or 20 marks more in one day it is it just comes to practice and the people who are pre- starting to prepare now i think they have got a lot of time like around 9 to 10 months so that is a long duration i had 5 months but still i made the best use of it uh so about vrc i'll think uh, like i think people who regularly read newspapers and articles they should be automatically doing well but even if you don't do well still you can always like read passages analyze like you know vrc is not about like how well you are like vocabulary or how many words you know it is i think it is more about like how well you like pick the words like those minor words which can make the difference between the options like you can see that mostly we always will get confused between two options and they will like see sim- similar but yeah like practicing regularly make you see those like minor differences and you can like rectify it with eventually right that's right considering that was your weak section earlier uh, you made sure you yeah. practiced well and you have improved your scores that's amazing all right now uh, let's talk about the mock test so uh, how many so how many mocks did you take for the cat exam and what was your uh, exper- mock analyzing strategy okay uh, so i know uh, i for the from the crack you test series i completed all the full length mock test and that all should complete your serious aspirants of cat because the full length mock test really make you sit there for 2 hours and like make you feel like how it will be in the real exam scenario and coming to the sectional test i think i completed 90% of the sectional test though some vrc missed out but yeah it's fine like you if you are not able to complete all also it's fine but the most important part over here is the analysis if you just do the question and you will be like okay score 70 80 and it's fine that will never work you have to always analyze like where you are going wrong especially in the vrc and the quant quant is most necessary like sometimes you will come up with newer methods newer solution like because see cat is all about speed and how you pick the questions and in quant you have to always ensure that you do the question in the shortest time period possible i am like giving an example of time and work most of the times like you'll see like there will be questions where you have to always come up with the shortest approach or you can always go by the long rem- approach also but you'll be wasting 2 to 3 minutes extra over there which we can utilize for doing another one to two questions so quant analysis is the most important vrc also and dilr i think after you complete the test also try to solve the sets which you could not solve within the stipulated time period because i think everyone can solve all the four sets given like just increasing the time period but yeah dilr you should always target to do two sets at minimum like two sets should be the bare minimum you should not like do less than two sets during the stipulated time and yeah if you can do extra that's awesome 
all right okay uh, and uh, also about the mock test so what do you think is the right approach so do you think first uh, starting with the mock uh, taking a mock for your preparation and then uh, based on that uh, strategizing your preparation or uh, would you say first finish the syllabus and then take the mocks and also what would be uh, what according to you should be the frequency of the mock tests like uh, how many mocks in a week or something in a week should one take okay so now i like categorize into two uh, first of all like who are not sure like about all the concepts or whatever they should really go through the syllabus know the basic formulas and like basic ideas and then go to do the mocks but if you're sure that okay i know at least 50 to 60 percent of the syllabus and i can try a mock i'll tell just try one full length mock for the first time and from there you'll really get a rough idea about which your strength is which your weakness is you'll like get that confidence with one to two mocks and after that you can like give a pause to the mocks and work on your strengths and weaknesses by practicing the daily targets and the sectionals and about frequency of the mocks i think full length mocks you should like uh, start doing more towards the end like let's say after august yeah after august you have to always ensure in one week you do at least one full length mock test and two to three sectional test also but yeah till august you can always like prioritize uh, like strengthening your strengths and working on your weaknesses also i never had this period between january to august so i'm not the right person to comment but i think if someone like feels i'm strong at this i'm weak at this you can always work in this period from now you do, should not stress more about mocks like you really got time two to three months of consistent mock practice will be really good for serious cat experience but yeah the last months are the most crucial i feel yeah all right so first start with a couple of mocks and based on their strategies your preparation and finish the syllabus and then take full length mocks that yeah that's what uh, work for me yeah right. but that's i think that's work for you right but i think people can also like go through the syllabus like spring then like yeah i have now known all the formulas i can go to do the quant very nice some people do that i think that also work whatever works for you you have to always just know your strength i like if someone if someone tells you you have to do like this you have to do like that you'll never learn if you know like i can do like this and come up with a good result just go for it like just trust your instincts all right amazing so according to you uh, what are some mistakes that aspirants uh, aspirants should avoid during their cat preparation so as i mentioned at the first first thing is demotivation like there will be the odd mock test where you'll really score low like talking about myself in the full end mock test in some of the mock tests i got like top 5 rank and in some mocks i got like beyond 60 to 70 rank out of the people so that is totally fine i think like consistently remaining at one like rank one in this test will not be possible for anyone but that should not be the demotivating factor like just learn from your mistake that's what i'll tell you most of the people leave the preparation midway thinking that okay this is not meant for me like i think i'm not like good enough for this but that is that that never happens like you have to like believe that you're good for this and you have to keep like working till the last moment you never know like if you're scoring 80 percentile in august you never know you can always go 95 plus by the end of october it just needs that regular practice and the determination you and the another mistake i think uh, people do is uh, yeah uh, so this thing comes with practice like in cat i think it is not more important how many questions you do correct and go through it it is more important how you learn to pick the questions like which you have to like leave and which you have to attempt like let's come to dil like dil is the like strongest example for this so out of the four sets there will always be that one set which will be the easiest okay that one can pick okay like with practice you will know that how oh, this is easy and i can do it within 8 to 10 minutes so out of this next three sets one will be of medium level and the next two will be medium or hard so so from the next three picking that one set you can only like come up with practice and you can never target to do all the four sets that the human brain cannot like four sets completely doing is not possible for anyone you have to always aim like Yeah, exactly. Always aim for thirty out of sixty in DLR. The two sets you do that has to be perfect. Like don't make silly mistakes. Don't like just don't mess up those. Thirty out of sixty is ninety nine plus percentile. I can guarantee in DLR. Like no one is going to take over that. Exactly. And coming to point, see point is totally about practice. More you practice, more you come up with the. Uh, how to ask the question properly how to leave the question and again in the point the geometry part always keep the geometry questions i will tell for the last because those are the more time consuming questions arithmetic and algebra 
you can like do within one to two minutes geometry keep for the last maybe there are one to two questions which can you which you can do keep those for the last eight to ten minutes but like just don't start drawing figures in the middle of the paper you will lose a lot of time doing the geometry questions if you think that yeah this is a good question i love circles and triangles i should start doing it it will just save a lot of time right exactly brilliant so uh, also speaking of the quant section uh, you're a non engineer right so did you face any troubles any such kind of troubles with the quant section uh, but also, and if yes how did you tackle that and if no how did you practice uh, and improve your score the quant section i think i was uh, about average at the starting and i thought that if this is my strong section i have to like make it super strong like if during 30 to 35 now i have to take it to 50 then you know this this small small changes like 5 to 10 marks in every section can really in, ensure the like difference between 80 to 90 95 to 99 this small like one to two questions more one to two sets more always makes the difference and one mark cannot be neglected in the cat exam in one mark there are like uh, thousands of the competition is that right right absolutely all right now uh, finally coming to your uh, d day so uh, how did you handle the exam on the d day what was your uh, uh, what what was your state of mind like were you too nervous or, uh, or were you calm and composed so how did you handle the exam and how did you solve each section and each questions uh, as they came, as they came so i think if anyone is sitting there super calm and composed that cannot be like as a first time i think at least i was nervous but yeah okay that should not really affect you to the level that you mess up the exam and first thing always reach the exam center early like really reach if you reach late like you'll always have this can i reach can i like have the all the biometric everything confirmed in time just sit like over there and after whatever time you get just just sit silent don't let turn back start talking to people and all that like your your mental space like gets reduced and coming to the strategy okay this time cat 2022 was slightly difficult than like cat 2021 so when i did the dil section i thought that okay i'm really going to like do bad in this cat but you know in this moment you should not be like okay i will do bad so this let me mess up completely not doing one set or something always try to do the to the best of your ability you never know maybe scoring 15 marks in dil can give you a 99 percentile if the question paper is really hard if it is hard it is hard for everyone not everyone is getting different question paper or something and and the scaling of always exists if it is difficult for you and not difficult in others slot you'll always get scaled up but you have to perform to the best of your ability giving up with the, like between the exam is not a choice like if you have worked for the exam let's say for 8 to 9 months and giving up on the d day that is not a choice to be honest and the yeah, calm and composure you have to maintain to the exam but the yeah, nervousness will always be there but it's not let it like take over you or something you just have to perform to the best of your ability Maybe you think you're missing the exam, but you never know. You are maybe really doing good or something. Right, from this absolutely. Area. So finally, what is that uh, final uh, that message that you would like to give the future cat aspirants? So I just like to tell like cat is not that something no one can achieve or something. It is really achievable. Just you need that consistent practice and determination. That all matters. Cat is not something like rocket science. Like someone cannot achieve. Like. Whoever tells you the cat is really difficult, you cannot do this, you cannot do that. Just don't listen to them. Ignore and just believe in yourself. That is the all the like the message I can give to the cat students. Wonderful. Uh, so thank you so much, Om Adarsh. Uh, you gave some really amazing and valuable tips. I'm sure it helps a lot of cat students. And thank you, sir. And also all the very best for your application process and uh, the coming admission process for the IIMs. And I hope you get into your dream B school. Thanks a lot and all the best. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure talking yeah. to you.